So I've been making a lot of tutorials on using our digital planners with Goodnote 6 and I know some of you are looking for alternatives. There is one, a really good one, Novo. After trying for a while, I have to say this app is truly designed for digital planning. Even the free version was very well. In this tutorial, I'll be using our all-in-one planner with the free version of Novo as an example. It doesn't matter which photo line planner you are using, you'll still get a good sense of how everything works. First, let me walk you through how to download the planner to Novo. Essentially, the downloading process is pretty much the same no matter what note-taking app you use. Most of our planners now have calendar integration. Make sure you choose the correct link to download the version you need. The link will open in Safari. Just tap download. Once it's finished, tap the download icon at the top right, then tap the file. It will open in your files app where you'll see a zip file in the downloads folder. Simply tap the zip file and it will automatically unzip. Tap to open the folder and you'll see your planners inside. Depending on which package you purchased, you may see several different planner files. If you're looking for a specific layout, switch to list view up here so you can see the full file names. I always label them clearly. For example, this one is a 2026 planner with the minimal daily layout, Apple Calendar integration, and the weekly date starts on Monday. Let's choose this one, tap the share icon, then select your note-taking app. If you don't see it right away, tap more or scroll down to find Novo. If the download links don't work for you, you can use the Google Drive link instead. Just navigate the folders to find the version you need. Tap the three dots, select Opening, and choose your note-taking app. Now that we have the planner opening Novo, you may find your planner scrolls like a book. You can change the page view to horizontal, so the planner stays fixed in screen. Let's talk about how hyperlinks work here. You can tap the links using either your Apple Pencil or your finger. Just keep in mind, in Novo, you need to long press hyperlinks to navigate. I actually like this setup because unlike GoodNotes or Notability, you won't accidentally tap links while writing. On the copyright page, you'll see info about calendar integration. If you don't need that feature, you can skip it. The planner will still work perfectly without it. If you do want to use it, make sure you install the shortcut from the link here. For full demo how to use the calendar integration, check out the video link in the description. Now I'll quickly go through how to navigate the planner. Here's the index page where you can access lifestyle templates such as finances, wellness, nutrition, and custom sections. You can also use the icons at the top right corner to go to these sections. On the right side, you'll find tabs that take you to the yearly calendar and monthly calendars. From the monthly calendar, you can tap the dates to go to daily pages or tap the week numbers to go to weekly pages. From the weekly planner, tap the dates to go to the corresponding daily planner. Here you can tap the view week button at the top to go back to the weekly planner. Here at the bottom right corner, you can jump between weekly planner, weekly schedule, weekly reflection, and weekly meal planner. For a full walkthrough of the navigation system, I've put the video link in the description. Next, I'll show you how to download and use the stickers. Tap the link stickers for other apps. Download. The whole sticker pad may take a while to download because it includes more than 10,000 stickers.
Tap the sticker zip file to unzip it. Here you can see all the stickers are organized by type and color. We'll save the stickers to the sticker tool in Novo. In this demo, I'll save all the black icons in a collection called Icons Black. First, let's create a collection. Tap the plus sign and choose Import File. Navigate to the Black Icon Stickers folder. And select all. Open. Select the collection we just created and save. To add a sticker to the planner, simply tap the sticker tool and Choose the sticker like so. If you can't bother saving the stickers to the stickers tool, you can just drag and drop the sticker from the files app to Novo. Make sure you are always on the icons view so you can easily navigate through the stickers. The planner comes with the default cover, but our planner bundles also include extra covers for you to choose from. I'll show you how to change the cover, by which you can learn how to delete, copy, and paste pages in Novo. Let's download the covers like we did with the planner. One thing I want to point out here is that make sure you choose create new notebook. If you choose add to current notebook, all covers will import right into the planner, which obviously is not what we want. The same goes for when you open another planner while you're on a planner, make sure you always choose create new notebook. Otherwise, the two planners will be merged into one document. Now let's choose the cover. You can swipe through the covers or you can tap the four little square icon to preview the covers. I'm gonna choose this one. Tap copy. Go back to the planner. Go to the index page and navigate to the cover page. Tap the four little square icon again. Choose paste. Then delete the original cover. There you go. We have a different cover for the planner. Now you are all set for the planner. I'll use a simple example to show you how to use the planner with some basic tools. Let's do some time blocking on the daily schedule on the daily page. Let's choose the pen tool. You can adjust the pen size like so. Choose a pen color. Draw a rectangle and hold the pen tip until you get a perfect rectangle. You can style the shape like its color, style, and opacity. Now, let me show you how to type in the planner with the text tool. You can also style the text. And here's the highlighter. You can change the color and size. And this is the eraser tool. Lastly, let's add a picture to the planner.
You can resize or rotate it like so. If you want to adjust your notes, you can use the lasso tool to move them around or copy, delete, resize, and so on. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us keep making more tutorials. Thank you so much for supporting Forty Two Line. I'll see you in my next video.